unless the purple heart so the purple heart has done some maintaining especially with the color we can tell which way the plant was facing because all the leaves are facing that way towards the window so I will definitely put this plant exactly back in the spot that it was because it's completely happy it just needs to be cleaned up We've got a great rooting system here. Purple Heart is super easy to break, so I'm gonna take my time. Wow, I don't even want to, <coughs> excuse me, it's super tight. I can't even break it. And look at this Philip Dandrian tangled in the middle too. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Uh oh, looks like she's gonna wiggle out. Dang. <laughs> there she goes. But these are all entwined together, which is fine. I'll just make it makes it easier to plant. I would just be popping the whole thing into the pot, just like that. nice and she doesn't even have like any leaves to really pick off no not too much rottage Purple Heart is handling business. Yes. Okay. Awesome sauce. So I use this vase for the Purple Heart since it's getting bigger. Just wanted to get a bit more room. I'm going to free it of all these babies. I just need to get my pots and get to planting. But that will come at a later date. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, I was looking over my plants and look at the Wandering Jew. The Wandering Jew has produced a flower. I did not know the Wandering Jew produces flowers. Did you know that? And it's in propagation, not in a pot. Well. Wow.
all right you all welcome back to ragdown planting so this is my propagation oh, excuse me this is my propagation baby this is called the purple fuzzy wandering jew plant and if you want to maintain the the purpleness of the plant it needs plenty of daylight and morning to afternoon sun it also grows little fuzzy hairs it doesn't have too many at this time i wondered is it because of the season possibly so anyway she is ready to be planted look at all these roots we have going on and i'm just pulling off all the dead leaves from the prop from the water look at this one it never grew any so uh, roots so I'm not going to worry with this plant. I have too many others that are ready. I'm just trying to decide what pot I want to use. I've decided on this baby. Purple plant, purple pot. I'm gonna apply my situation. Make sure I cover that bottom. Okay, it's not gonna stay. So I'm gonna have to hold it. Let me get some rocks. Oh, excuse me, my glows. Grab a handful of these rocks. There we go. And I just put a smudge at the bottom to coat it. Down. Must be careful. I don't want to press too hard because I'm not trying to break any of my roots. Uh-oh. Run out of soil. No problem. She ready today, honey. And this is a hanging plant, you all. So I will be hanging her from the ceiling. I need to get the proper hangers to do such. 
this soil has no perlite in it. So I'm going to have to mix some. So you know what I do when I receive a bag of soil like this? It has no drainage included into the soil at all. I save my last bag. I'll get you a trash bag, a big bag. Fill that bag up. Just a smudge at a time. Mm, I probably need a little bit more than that because I am going to make another plant. Uh oh, shoot. Of course, I'm making a mess. Wouldn't be right if I didn't make a mess. And I take a little perlite drainage and include it and once you do it above here all right there she is the purple heart excuse me the purple fuzzy wandering jew i'm gonna water her with fertilizer at this time all right, you all, everyone's favorite, the Purple Hearts. And it is almost December 25th, Christmas. And look how I've maintained the purpleness of the plants. 